appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity to, to be here with you this evening. Hallelujah. I'm excited about what God's doing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come, I come from a long way back, and we have something, you know what I think? Can, can I stand down here with this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Hallelujah. 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 I was saying, my dad, my dad was a man of God, and he was uh, a man full of power, full of faith, so anointed. Hallelujah. I seen him. I seen people delivered from so many things when I was young, and yet, and yet, I, I ran from God for many years until the Lord says, your time of running is over. You know that, that you can run from God until God says, that's all. You're running no more. And some of us, I think there's somebody in here today that you've been running, and this is your day, you need to stop. You need to stop. Hallelujah. Anyway, I was so demon, I became so demon possessed, and that for the benefit of somebody in here. I became so demon possessed that I couldn't even enter any church. I became an epileptic. I had so many demons. Yeah. I wouldn't recognize myself. Mm-hmm. I'm totally another person. Yeah. But one day, my dad being the man of God that he was, fasted and prayed. Things happen when you fast and pray. That's right. right. Yeah. Well, when you add fasting to your prayer. Yeah. You can pray, you can read your word, you can do all the things. But if it's still not happening, then maybe you need to add a little bit of fasting to that. Mm-hmm. See, fasting, fasting is your is like your burnt offering to God. It's a sacrifice yeah. unto Amen. God. It's a sacrifice that, that it, it's it's hard. Right. Most people in our time don't want to hear of a pastor. You gotta be a real fanatic. You gotta really, 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 really be hungry for God yeah. if you want to hear about fasting. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you one thing: you will get an anointing that will bring you a breakthrough mm-hmm. yes. that it maybe it will take you thirty years to get. Mm-hmm. But if you fast and you pray, you break yourself. Mm-hmm. You fill yourself with the presence of God and the fire of God and you go right at that opposition and the opposition has to scatter. That's the get out of here. But you have to make it. You have to make it move. And when you you go to everything else and it's still not working, I suggest you fast. Hallelujah. I suggest you fast. Now I believe in fasting. What pastor said to me one time said about me, if anybody wants to fast, Pastor Tony has an anointing for fasting. He <laughs> 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 said, I, I, I fasted. I fasted 40 days. I fasted 21 days because I know the results. Yeah. The first church that, was at, that I started after my dad passed away, I fasted for 40 days. And after that, God was moving. Mm. Miracles were happening. My family was fasted and came to church, gave their life to the Lord. Yeah, God. I mean, amazing things happened. And that's been a practice in my life. And that's what keeps the fire going. See? Mm-hmm. When it starts starts fading out a little bit, fast a little bit. Yes. Add some extra. Yes. You know? And, and, and say, no, I refuse to die. I refuse to burn out. I refuse to let the fire go out of my life. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, God, God will be not unwilling to do without you. He will do anything to keep you. He will move mountains for you. Yes, amen. Because, because you show yourself valuable to him. Yes. Now, let's see, when he can depend on you, when you can be trustworthy, he's like a pastor, right. when he has faithful people, he can depend on them. Yes. So he'll do anything for them. Hallelujah. So how much more your Father God? Yes. 
oh, will do for you. Yeah. When you show him that you're yeah. faithful, that you're trustworthy, yeah. that you're dependable, yeah. that you're willing to fast, you're willing to pray. Yeah. And listen, there is an urgency in the spirit. Yes. There are things that are happening that one or two things is going to happen. Either God is going to break through and give us a revival that's going to bring deliverance to our nation and bring our nation back to the place where it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Or judgment is going to come. Because mm-hmm. our, le- our leaders have passed laws where now they're saying they can abort a baby that's full born, mm-hmm. that's gone full term. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. And yet the church has sat, we've sat back and done nothing. Jesus. Right? In our schools, they can teach our kids about the Muslims and the atheism, but, but they can't teach about Jesus. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh. Hallelujah. We need to fast and pray. Yes. And we need to get ourselves on really on fire and yes. make that change. Yes. It's got to change. It can't stay the same. And if we don't do something, if we don't get serious about God, That's right. serious about our church, this church is going to stand, Brother Pastor yes. Bob. Yes. Then no matter what the shaking that's going to come, there's some ministries that are going to fall. And, and, and people are going to scatter and not going to know where to go, but they're going to be able to come yes. to truth and yeah. love because yeah. it's yeah. going to stand. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is going to keep you because you've been faithful. Yes. Hallelujah. People are going to come up to a place where they can find refuge, yes. where they can find healing, where yes. they can feel the presence of God. Yes. Not just entertainment. That's right. Entertainment is not going to cut it no. when the things get rough. Well, Entertainment is okay when everything goes well and you can get by, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's not going to stay that way. Come on. Mm-hmm. Okay? And even even in your Christian walk, it ain't going to stay that way. There's going to be times mm-hmm. where you're going to go through some difficult times. And the spotlights and the entertainment stuff ain't going to work. You're gonna cut yeah. You need the anointing of God. Yeah. You need the presence of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You need to yeah. walk in the, in the house of God. And by the time you leave, you know you've been in the house of God. Yeah. You yeah. know you've been in the presence yeah. of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the message today is the title of this, Earthen Vessels. Mm. Hallelujah. Earthen Vessels. Pray. Yeah. Let, let, let's pray before we go any further. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I ask you to just come and fill this place with your glory. Yeah. Wash me first of all, Lord, in your precious blood. Hide me behind the cross. Anoint me with the Holy Ghost and power to minister and teach your word effectively under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Help me, Lord, to say what I ought to say and not to say what I'm not supposed to say. Yes. I ask you, Father, in Jesus' name, yes. and I thank you for doing it right thank now. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. I feel the presence of God very strong in this yes. house today. Yes. God is doing something. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Hallelujah. Earth and vessels. God is amazing. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. We're talking about the glory of God, and, and, and you know, the glory of God is going to fill the temple. And, and the literal house, but the, really what God wants is your body. That's right. Amen. God wants you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. He made you in such a way that you are his shepherd. Let me get to verse 5. Mm-hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. It says, For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shepherd, verse 6. God has given us the, the knowledge of the glory. What is the glory of God? Come on. Hallelujah. What is the glory of God? Hallelujah. In Colossians 1 27, it says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm. You are the container that houses the glory. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the container that the Holy Spirit lives here. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Jesus lives here yes. by his spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of the glory of God. Do we really understand that we house the glory of God? Mm -hmm. I think that we it, it, it goes goes over our heads. Mm -hmm. I really do. Because if we if, if we understood, if we knew that we we are housing the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yeah. Every time we come together, yes. or any time you go anywhere, mm -hmm. the presence of God right. walks in. That's right. Yeah. right. Come on, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 And listen, you and, and Matthew, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5. You are the light of the world. No one lights a candle and then hides it right. or puts it on a cover it up so nobody can see. You know, you light a light and you put it up there so it can give light to everything. Mm -hmm. But what has the devil done and what have we, most of us done? Right. We've allowed, yes. we've been tricked, we've been enticed, we've been seduced mm -hmm. to allow things to dim the light. The light is not out, but it's not burning like it should. Because when when we, the, the children of God, the temple of the Holy Ghost, when we walk somewhere and the devil doesn't move aside, when we walk somewhere and people don't get convicted at our presence, Yes. When people can stand around us and sit around us mm -hmm. and talk and joke, sure. nasty jokes and, and do all that stuff <laughs> and not get convicted, wow. there's not something wrong with him. Right. Something wrong with yes. us. That's right. That's Come right. on. That's a good, good word. word. Oh, my God. Because we are the light of the world. Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. But yes. if, if we uh, have allowed different things to attach themselves to our life, mm -hmm. and see, the devil is not going to come at us most of us anyway. I know I wouldn't. If the devil were come to me like to say, go commit adultery. Mm -hmm. I said, you're crazy. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I ain't going to do that, yeah. right? Yeah. Or go yeah. kill that person over there. I ain't going to do that. Right. Right. But it's the little part. Yeah. It's a yeah. little yeah. thing that, yeah. well, everybody gets mad once in a while. Mm -hmm. And Christians cussing. Everybody cusses. Oh, Jesus. No, you're a child of God. That's right. You're a new creation. Yes. You're not what you were. That's right. If you accepted Jesus Christ, you are a new creation. Amen. All things have passed away. Amen. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. Yes. When you got saved, you became something that never existed before. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You became a God-like man. Or woman, Amen. Hallelujah. That didn't exist before. Yeah. That that person wasn't born from your father and mother on earth. That person was born from heaven. Amen. That person was born from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now the Spirit of God lives in us, and the Bible says that we have been made partakers of the divine nature. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been partakers of His holiness, of His mm -hmm. a, a very thing that yes. exists of God. We have to hear. That's right. That's right. But we got into a place where, hallelujah, God have mercy on the church. Yeah, last week I had a dream. Mm. Please don't get offended because what, this is what I dreamt. And this is what the Lord told me it was. Mm. I saw the body of Christ. You know, where they have plays and lights and entertainment and all stuff, but no anointing. And it said that, this is what God said to me, they have become a, a given a bad order in my nostrils. Wow. Mm. Wow. The church is, is giving me a bad order in my nostrils. Mm -hmm. I said, wow. Hallelujah. Well, they, they think they're doing the right thing. They, they, they got 30,000 members or 20,000 or whatever. But no 
conviction. That's right. That's right. No power of God. Yes. Yes. No relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong. Really wrong. Yes. You see, you and I are the repellent. As long, help me. Mm -hmm. As long as we are here, mm -hmm. we are the ones that house the presence of God. We are the ones that say to the enemy, no. That's right. Right? We are the restrainers. Yes. In fact, as long as we're here, the Antichrist can't come. Well, That's yeah. how powerful the church is, wow. the people, the body of Christ. Uh -huh. yeah. As long as you're here, he can't come. Amen. When is he coming? When that which lets, that which hinders, that which says, is taken out of the way, mm. then he's coming. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the point. Come on. Amen. Oh, he's around, but he's not in power. Okay. He's around. I know he's around, but he's not doing what he's supposed to do. He can't do it yet. Why? Because we're here. Yeah. We have to be taken out of the way. Okay? And, and when this guy going to do that, I don't, not, not, not real fast yet, I don't think, because there's still something that needs to happen. Yes. Amen? I believe that God is going to give America another chance. Yes. And going to give America an opportunity to once again yes. Become the greatest nation in the world, not only yeah. militarily and yeah. financially, yeah. but we're going to send yeah. these missionaries and preachers yeah. all over yeah. the world yeah. until yeah. every man and woman yeah. and child are doing this evangelism. Yeah. And yeah. television by itself is not doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Come on. I've been in places where there is no television. Mm -hmm. yeah. when, I, when I went to Thailand, I was up in the jungles. And you know, they like in really like huts like the show that in the movies, huh? <laughs> and, and I looked in there, I mean I saw a lady with one arm amputated and with another ha ha hand I had a hammer working breaking rocks. Wow. Wow. And she better do that if she wanna eat or she'll die, right? right. Mm. Ain't no welfare, ain't no nothing over there. Mm. And here we gotta make. Right. right? And it, it's a it's a trick of the enemy to get us to become a sleeping giant. Mm -hmm. wow. We're asleep. Yes. The church is asleep. Amen. The church has been kept pacified, mm -hmm. showered with gifts, yes. drunk mm -hmm. yes. with the world. Yes. The Bible says, "Be not drunk with wine, right. but be filled with the Spirit." spirit. Right? Yes. Huh? But rather than be filled with the Spirit, we're filled with entertainment. We're mm -hmm. filled with, with parties. We're filled yeah. with recreation. And I know those things have their place, but listen, it has so consumed yes. us yes. that we 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 don't long for the presence of That's God. Right. We rather go to an entertainment yeah. place. Right. When Christians and bishops and apostles can go to Las Vegas to be entertained, something is very wrong. Yeah, very mm -hmm. wrong. Come on, speak it, brother. Something is very wrong. There's no conviction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how, how can we do these things? We are the leaders of the people. We are the examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether we like it or not, if we're in ministry, we are examples. Right. And we're, we're supposed to be able to say, like Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 Preachers don't say that because they didn't follow in Christ. So oh. Everybody oh. will leave them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. They're not following Jesus like they say. Mm. Huh. Help us more. Mm. Okay, let's look at it. Verse number seven. <laughs> but we have, said in Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of, our, of God and not of us. Hallelujah. God is so smart. Mm. He chose us. He created us. He made us out of clay. <laughs> and and a fragile flesh and blood. Well, you're so fragile, man. We get a little knife, it doesn't have to even be too sharp, you cut. Right? A little blow, your head is crushed. You're fragile. And yet God has chosen yes. to place his glory yes. inside of you. Yes. 
And not because you're so good. Right. And not because you're so perfect. Maybe he chose to do it that way so that nobody can glory. And nobody can say, well, because I'm this or right. I'm that. Or right. because I went to this school or because right. I have these titles. Uh -huh. No. In fact, God chooses the base things. That's right. yes. 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 Mm -hmm. The things that I look down at. The, the, yeah. the things that the people that, like I said, the people that others look down their nose at. Mm -hmm. that they think you don't have the ability. You don't have what it takes. Mm -hmm. But that's not what God says. That's right. right? Amen. God says, that's the what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So if you're one of those that never really had a fitting place and never could find your place, and even when you go and try to, try to fit in in a party, but you're not fitting in, that's because you don't belong there. That's because you have a different purpose. Amen. Your purpose is not to be out there doing what they're doing. Yeah. That has chosen you for yeah. something special. Yeah. And you're trying to, you're trying to find that, that yeah. place where you fit, but it's not out there. Yeah. It's in the kingdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's, in, it's in God. Yes. You see, and you never will find it. If you live 10,000 years, you'll never find it until yes. you give your life to Jesus Amen. and allow the Holy Spirit to yes. come yes. in your life. Yes. And the only time that you will be satisfied and fulfilled and never again lack yes. for drugs or liquor or whatever it is, yes. you will yes. never hunger for it yes. because yes. the Holy Spirit has Amen. Presence of God. Hallelujah. I love the anointing. I love the presence of God. Hallelujah. I've been saved for 58 years. No, let me say 59 years. Been in ministry 58. And you know what? I've never backstabbed. People ask me, you never know, backstabbed me. I've been through some tough stuff. I've been through some trials, man. Yes. But you never back I'm not saying there's anything back for anybody that did, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we, we all have to give a we all have to do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Maybe you didn't know what I know. But you we'll have it tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I got saved, I fell in love with Jesus. That's right, amen. I fell in love with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. I fell in love with the anointing. And when I was going through some difficult, I mean, I went through divorce, I've been through abandonment, I was betrayed uh, by my own family, I mean, yeah. so many things mm -hmm. through the years, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And one, one pastor asked me, how can, he said, kind of, how can you take so much, Pastor Tony? It's, it ain't me, it's God's grace. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Not me, because I would have bashed her head in or something. <laughs> <laughs> if I was the other person, yeah. <laughs> but that person died. Amen. Amen. In 1960, that person died. Yeah. And he stayed there. Mm -hmm. And I'm making sure he stays there. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. See, Amen. you have to get to the place where you learn how to put that old man on the cross and yeah. keep him crucified. That's right. Right. That's right. Because every once in a while, he's going to want to get up yes. and right. do his little thing. Uh -huh. huh? You tell him, uh -huh. you ain't doing that. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man? I, I, I said, what I first got said, I said to God, I said, God, because I know. See, maybe some some of you you guys are strong and you got a lot of willpower and you can quit whenever you think you can. You think you can. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You 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 really ain't as strong as you think you are. Right, right, right. But you think you are. Uh huh. <laughs> but when I now say I knew, that's mm -hmm. about I knew. I didn't have no willpower. I knew that whatever temptation came, I was going to do it. And many times my mom will tell me, can't you just stay home for one day? Right. And then go out there and get high and fight? I said, okay, mom, tomorrow I'll stay home. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Man, the morning will come and I'll be gone. Or somebody will come and whistle away, hey, Curly, there I go. There <laughs> <laughs> is a dummy, Curly. There I go. I forget all about my mom. Then what happened, whatever, whatever I, I would just, I would go for it, right? Yeah. So I said, God, teach me. Yes. Amen. 
teach me. Yeah. My dad didn't teach me. Holy Spirit taught me. Yeah. Yeah. Teach me what's the part that I have to do. Yeah. So that I know that's life. Yes. I don't want to be, that's one of the things that kept me from giving my life to Jesus in the beginning. Because I didn't want to give my life to Jesus and then the next week or two weeks I'm back on the street again. I didn't want to do that. I said, I'd rather not do it at all. That's right. That's the way I thought. Mm-hmm. And God honored that. Mm-hmm. Now, some of my kids are acting that way, but their rope is running out already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're almost half dead. They're, 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 they're in the hospital dying sometimes. Oh, I said, you ready to, you ready to surrender? Ready to God's going to get you. God's going to win. Yeah. How you come is up to you. But you will come. Yeah, that's right. If God has a purpose for you, yeah. and you are supposed to be housed in his glory, oh, and yeah. let me tell you something, you can run to China or Russia, or you can run to the bottom of hell, and you're going to do what he said. You may as well say yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to win with God. No you may as well surrender. Surrender. Please help yourself. Surrender. Yeah. <laughs> because if you don't surrender, believe me, you will come limping and up there and half blind. And, okay, Lord. Uh, you want to wait on him? No. It's up to you. Yes, that's right. It's up to you. God's got all the time. In fact, He lives in eternity. That's right. You don't want to run out of time. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's right. We got so much time, and we gotta do what we gotta do. That's it. Amen. Yeah. You're burning the candle at both ends, and you're all messed up. Now you gotta get healed. You gotta get restored. You gotta get your mind renewed. You gotta get all that filth out of your mind, all that pornography and all the drugs, and all that out of you, so God can use you like He wants to be mine. Uh, you're going to have to go through a lot. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Surrender. Yeah. Surrender. Yeah. I said, why didn't I do this before? <laughs> and I was 20 years old when I got saved. Wow. But I, I, I did all kinds of stuff. And God still had mercy on me. Okay? God had mercy. Yeah. Why? Why? Because. Yeah. Because he had predestined. Yes. He had ordained yes. that I was going to house his glory. Yes. That I would be here yes. tonight. Yes. He, that there was try to kill me a whole bunch of times. Yeah. In car accidents and when I was in the world getting shot at and in gangs and gang. But I'm still here. Amen. You ever wonder why you're still here? <laughs> <laughs> it's not because you're so bad, okay? You ain't that bad. <laughs> Cause I've seen people a lot better and tougher. Gone. Jesus. Gone. Jesus. Even a whole bunch of preachers. Mm-hmm. Gone. Yeah. Why are we still here? If I said, well, mm-hmm. why? I mean, good men. I, I, I respected them. They were smarter, far I thought. They were smarter, more anointed, more charisma, more everything. They had it, they had it together. Mm-hmm. I just um guy that just wanted the power of God and full of the Holy Ghost too much, they said. Mm-hmm. Well, whenever they get demon possessed people, who did they call? Pastor Tony. Right. Nah. Pastor Tony, we got somebody over here. They got so many demons, we can't help them. Come, please. I say, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> people from other churches would come to me. I said, why you come to me? You got a pastor. That's right. You go there, you pay your tithes, you serve you. Why, why come to me? I got enough battle with David myself. I don't have <laughs> but I would go. I would go because God Lord told me to cast out devils. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. See, you have a job to do. Yes. There's people that are sick out there. Mm-hmm. In a hospital dying. In prison. Babies being aborted, going to be aborted. You got the light inside of you. Yeah. You got the Lord of glory in the inside of you. And God wants to shine through you into their lives. And bring them in out of darkness into the marvelous light. God wants to use you. Okay? But the way we are, He can't. I mean God can do anything if He wants to. He can use a donkey. Right? But but as a rule, He's a holy God. Yes. And He says, We are the holy people. 
He called us to be a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of zealous of good works. Amen? Not zealous of evil works. Some believers are zealous and cussing and gambling and washing all this and doing all kinds of stuff. Hey, that's not who you're supposed to be. Right. Has anybody told you? <laughs> huh? No, they don't tell you. They tell you, just come and say, it's okay, you don't have to change. No, you do have to change. Yeah. Come on. The, the only good thing about it is, you, can, you don't change yourself. That's right. That's right. I, I, I used to think, I can't change myself. I can't, I can't do it. I didn't understand. I didn't understand that all I had to do was to receive him. Amen. And he changed me. Yes. He took the desire for drugs yeah, away. Yeah. He took the desire for this yeah. away. Yeah. He took the desire for yeah. getting banged yeah. and, and, and all of that. He, he took it away. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have to lay it down. Mm -hmm. What's good, man? I said, thank you, Lord. I don't know how people get saved today and they still keep doing the same thing. I don't understand. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I got saved, you couldn't make me do it. Amen. 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 No way. Right. When I got saved, I went, the next day I went into the street and started telling everybody what Jesus had done. Amen. You know, some, not now we, we, our experience is so shallow mm -hmm. that, that we, we can't go around those places because we're going to swallow back into that mess. Yeah. Mm. But I'm saying that because, see, there was a time, and that time is going to be restored in the church. Amen. Yeah. I mean, there was a time when a man and a woman came to church mm -hmm. and no matter how demon possessed and no matter how strung out on drugs they were or how, how mentally sick they were when they came they walked into the presence of the yeah. living God Ooh. the power of the Holy yeah. Ghost yeah. I'm telling you I've seen people insane out of insane asylum be brought before a man of God and walk out healed yeah. I've seen it yeah. I lived in that time I saw it I wasn't saved, but I saw it. God, I, I saw drugs, and my dad was one of them. I heard that it fully addicted, give his life to Christ, leave his drugs at the altar, and never again pick it up. That's what I know that I can do. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. God is, is, is great. That is not, yeah. But you see, there's a responsibility that we have. Yes, yeah. that's right. Man, I have to live my life yes. in a manner Amen. that the Holy Spirit, the anointing, rests upon me. Yes. Amen? So that when those people come around me, I can help them. Yes. The presence of God in me is so intense that they're going to get free. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I said this the other day, praise God for all the rehab homes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I never had to go to I got saved, filled with the whole devil, not filled with the Lord. I, I wasn't speaking in tongues, but I got saved, I got delivered, and I got sanctified all at once. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't need to go into a home. Jesus. And I went right back into the street. I went into homes where they had rifles and guns and heroin and pills and weed and, and everything. Everything was here. And I was just, you know what? Jesus loves you, man. <laughs> Look what he did for me. He changed my life. You know what they want to do with high boss preaching up there? Gary, I don't know if you know. It's up there in City Terrace, way up there. Mm -hmm. I went over there to preach in the street. And you know what the guy said? Hey, you know what? You could be our pastor, man. And there's a little church up there. We'll take those people down to get out and we'll make it. <laughs> 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 And there's a message, you know why? One of the reasons, so that you, the you that lives in this earthen vessel, will know that it's nothing about you. Amen. That's right. Amen. It's He in you. Yes. Christ yes. in you. That's right. The hope of glory. Yes. Amen? Amen. The more of Him you get, the more effective you will be. Yes. Amen. The better you will live your life. Yes. The better you will handle trials and tribulations. Yeah. 
You see, because when you're full of the Spirit, this is how I see it, okay? When you're full of the Spirit, it's like somebody shoots at you and the bullet just goes, ding, ricochets. Amen. That's it. Yeah. When you're full of the Spirit. Yes. But if you're not full of the Spirit, you're, oh. And then the devil says, ah, oh, we got to know then they gang up on you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why? Give them that place. That's yeah. right. Be full of the Spirit. Can I? I want to go to Isaiah 35. Mm. I'd like to show you something. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Huh, oh, shit. I, I, I read the scripture one time at a church, and the pastor said, he said to the people sitting next to him, I read the Bible through seven times. I've never seen that there. <laughs> I said, well, I've been there. <laughs> See, but you can read over something, and if the Holy Spirit doesn't give you a revelation, you're not going to see it. That's right. Look at that, look at that. Verse 8. Hallelujah. And a highway shall be there. Mm. A way, and it shall be called, what? Highway of holiness. Oh, holiness? Mm-hmm. Come on, Pastor Tony. Nobody's that? living in old fashioned holiness yeah. anymore. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Holiness? Yeah, holiness means sanctification. Yeah. Set apart. Yeah. Coming out from among them. Yeah. Yeah. Touch yeah. not the unclean thing. Yeah. And I will receive you. Yeah. And I will be a father to you. And you I wonder how many illegitimate illegitimate babies are in the church. Because we refuse to come out. Yeah. Isn't that what it says? That's what it says. Come out from among them and be yeah. separate. Yeah. And then I will receive you. And then, and then I will be a father to you. Yeah. Wow. That's, good. That's what it says. That's what it says. I'll, I'll read it to you after this. I'll remind me if I can forget it. A highway shall be the highway of holiness. Look, look, look. The unclean shall not pass over. Oh my sick God. Mm. But it shall be for those, for the way wayfaring man, though fools, mm. they shall not err. In other words, even if they're not real smart, yeah. but they're walking in the highway of holiness. holiness. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Listen to me, please listen. Yes. You're walking in that highway of holiness on this side and on this side. There's all kinds of raping and speech. Mm-hmm. All kinds of demons trying to pull you out. Yeah. But they can't get into uh-huh. that way. Yeah. Yeah. They can't get in there. It's a highway of yeah. holiness that we deem. Yeah. Yeah. Walk in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the devil has succeeded to pull the church away from holiness because yeah. he knows yeah. that if you get in that way, he can't touch you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Can't touch you. Yeah. All he can do is entice you. Mm-hmm. Make it look glittery out here. He said, look, I got this for you. Yeah, right. And look, take a drink of this or, or oh, try this. Mm-hmm. Or I, I know it's tough for you. Here, take a little bit of this. Yeah. He said, ah, uh-huh. I'm standing in the highway of holy ghost. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah. the Jesus, man, yeah. the holy ghost. He can do nothing. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. No unclean thing will go in there. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Lord, you would just, God, give everybody a revelation. Yeah. 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 If, I, if I, there's a highway called holiness, mm-hmm. God wants me to walk in it because mm-hmm. he called me to be holy. That's right. right? Mm-hmm. Be holy for I am holy. Mm-hmm. That's what the word says. Right. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. But the bishop told me I didn't have to. Uh-huh. I heard a voice and I believe it was the Lord and he told me, it's okay if you live that way. God understands your weakness. That's right. That's the devil. That's the devil. Then somebody told my dad many years ago. Well, the Lord told me that I didn't have to pay tithes because he understood (laughs) (laughs) my situation. (laughs) My dad told him, that's the devil. That ain't God. God will not contradict his word. God The word says, be holy. When somebody tells you be unholy, that the other one's a devil. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 
or some supposed brother or sister and, and try to entice you out of the way of holiness, that's the devil using yeah, that. That's right. That's right. That's you know the Bible says that if there is a brother or a sister who is the, man, that's not Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> if there's a brother or a sister who is named a fornicator, mm -hmm. have nothing to do with them, yeah. don't even eat with them. That's right. That's what the Lord says. Right. That's drastic. <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. But why would God say something like that? Mm -hmm. So that they would be ashamed. Mm -hmm. And so that they would be convicted. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if you go there and sit down <coughs> with them and just laugh and joke around if everything's cool, uh -huh. <laughs> that's, not, that's not good for you. No, that's right. Because no, no, no. you're allowing that's right. a little leaven. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says a little leaven. Mm -hmm. Leaven at the whole. Time. You see? The enemy is not going to try to get you to just dump, jump in all the way into sin. But he's going to try to just get you to do yeah. just a little. Yeah. Just a little. Yeah. Just lie a little. Yeah. A little lie is called a white lie. Yeah. There ain't no such thing as a white lie. No. God understands. God understands you're human and you have desires. <laughs> Go ahead. He'll forgive you. Will he? To him that knoweth how to do good, and that's right. what to him in his sin. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and God knows I believe long enough. Okay? People don't tell you that, but I'm going to tell you. I believe long enough that I've seen people come to Jesus and backslide one time, and they're dead. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. I've seen others backslide seven times, and they're still hanging around. Mm -hmm. I said, why? Because God knows the heart. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I always thought, man, if I go just one time, that's the end for me. That's it, me too. No, I had a little bad stuff. No matter what, no matter what I have to go through, no matter what kind of test or trial, whatever yeah. pain I have to endure, I'll endure it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to take a chance. Amen. Right. It's too big a risk. Yes. Oh, Pastor Tony, come on, everybody backs. No, not everybody. Oh, right. Right. Not everybody. Right. And you're not called to back. That's right. right. Amen. Bible says, tells you, stand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Having done all to stand, yes, stand. stand there. Right. Yes. Fight yes. the good fight of faith yes. and lay a hold yes. of eternal life. Yes. It's a struggle sometimes. Yes. You're going to have to battle to hold yes. on to yes. it. You're going to yes. have to yes. struggle sometimes. Yes. Sometimes you're going to cry. It's going to yes. hurt. You're going to yes. want to. Yes. And sometimes you've got to fast a little bit yes. and make your body shut up. Yeah, that's right. See, the Bible says that you have to discipline your body. Yes. The Bible says that you have to mortify yes. the deeds of the body. What does that mean, mortify? Mortify means yes. put it to yes. death. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, your spirit, man, Jesus said, the spirit is willing. Yes. It's the flesh. Yes. Yes. Your problem is the flesh. Yes. Your problem is not even the devil, brother. Right. Come, on. Come on. Come on. That's good right there. He defeated. Yes. That's right. He only has the the time to pay the place you give him. That's why right. yep. he says, give no place to the devil. Where did he say that? Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. This is the way I preach. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. I used to say holiness yeah. or hell. Mm. I used to say that. Maybe I need to get back to that. Because you keep living unholy, ungodly. And I say, no unclean thing will enter there. The Bible says, 40 k it says, let, let no man deceive you. That's right. Because of these things, the wrath of God comes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. right. So if there's a preacher telling you, it's okay. Mm -hmm. That's the devil. That's yeah. right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, This is what you're going to have to answer to. Yes. That's right. Not what the bishop said, Amen. even the apostle. Yeah. If he don't say what the word says, then let it be a curse. That's right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, sir, I don't believe you. I don't trust the word of God. God says, be not unequally yoked to him. Touch not the unclean yeah. thing. I want God to receive me. I yes. want to be able to come. I don't know what's going to happen. 
many, maybe one of my loved ones or, or a friend, very dear friend, will, will be dying. And I'm the one that can help them. I only, I'm the only one that can come and, and pray them through. Yes. And if I'm compromising, God's not going to hear me. Yeah. Or I'm not going to have the confidence enough to pray with boldness. That's right. Amen. Amen. And then that will be on your conscience forever. Oh, Jesus. If I only would have prayed more, if I only had fasted, if I only had consecrated my life, maybe I could have helped them and they would have died. Maybe. You never know that. Why take that chance? Crucify your flesh. Your enemy, I tell you, the enemy is your flesh. I tell you what I'm going to say in the scripture, right? Take the Corinthians. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't want me to read you this way from America. Usually I probably won't remember. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians six. You know what I'm preaching? The anointing is here. Amen. I love the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. I love. Uh, see, we've got to get the place where we walk in the Spirit. Yes. Right. Live in the Spirit. Yeah. My brother tell me, you can't live in the Spirit all the time. Mm. <laughs> so shall we. Yeah. He didn't know. I forgive him. He didn't know. He said, how can you be in bed with your wife and be in the Spirit? I said, come on, brother. God made that. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, uh, how shallow you think God is? Come on. Jesus. You know? You're funny. <laughs> he said, uh, my brother will tell you this. I said, he said, you can be all those things, Julian. I said, I don't know if I can be all those things or not, but I can't help what I feel. Amen. And sometimes I feel the evangelist anointing. And sometimes I feel the prophet. And sometimes I feel the pastor. And sometimes I feel the teacher. I can't help it. I didn't choose it. It's just there. And I love it. Oh, I love it, I tell you. It's better than any high that the world has ever given. It's better than anything. Hallelujah. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. There's nothing, yeah. nothing worth trading it for. Amen. Nobody said, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. I said, be not. Do we all understand be not? Yes. What does that mean? Be not. Be not. Be not. Be not. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Don't do it. You know, if you don't marry somebody that don't believe, they'll say that you. You don't even date somebody. That's right. You're asking for trouble. Yeah. Right. You're setting yourself big time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's a bondage that you take forever. Yeah. Even if you divorce, you still take that with you. Yeah. Why? Why not just wait for God to bring you your match? That's right. right. Amen. Right. God has the right one. Yes, right. If you pick it yourself, you're not going to pick the right one. I uh, promise yeah. you. <laughs> you're going to pick the one that satisfies your lust. That's right. And not what satisfies your spirit. That's yeah. right. Amen. Not that's compatible Amen. to your spirit and to yes. the will of God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, let me throw this in. <laughs> if you have a reputation of having bad relationships, okay, and you... You, you change one, you change the second one, you change the third one. You know what you need to do? The problem is not with them, the problem is with you. Come on. You say, Lord, whatever is in me that attracts me to that personality, please take it out of me. Yeah. You'll take it out. You took it out of me. Yes. That's what brought my wife. Yeah. I would have picked some other ways. <laughs> I almost did. 
God rescued me and now Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 You didn't know, yeah, I can't let you do that, but you got some work to do. <laughs> See, some of them think they're damaging, life damaging. That's true. Then if you have kids, wow, you're really messed up now. <laughs> <laughs> then you got to deal with child support yeah. till they're 18 or even 23 if they go to college. And before it used to be that you could go to another state and not know. You can go to another country and they'll track you down. They'll take your passport away and bring you back. Yeah. <laughs> they do all that now. They do. I don't want to get my picture out. Well, I do. I tell you, it's your fault, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to have mercy on you. Yeah. Good job. You know. Be that a nigga, you'll do an unbeliever. For what? Listen. For, it asks a question, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Either the light is on and it's light, you turn the switch off, it's dark. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mix. That's right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mix. You're light. You can't mix with darkness. That's Don't right. work. That's right. Don't work. Yeah. It might work for the honeymoon period. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Right, yeah. Maybe, right? True. Once uh, the, the, the lustful moments are over, mm -hmm. it's gone. <laughs> Tell you the truth. That's right. <laughs> you should know the truth, and the truth is going to set you free. Right? right? Yeah. right? Yeah. It's right. just something they're going to set you free. See, I'll pray for you, but I'm not going to tell you what it says, and you're going to have to pray. Come on. You're going to have to choose the right way. Yeah, that's right. Man, yeah. everybody can, they can choose it for you because you won't do your thing anyway. Yeah, that's right. If you don't choose to change, then no matter who prays you, you you're still going to do your thing. That's right. You still won't do it yeah. until you get the message. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Until that's you realize. Yes. Yeah. Maybe some people are locked up for life in prison. Now they realize. Well, praise God, they can get saved in there, but they're still locked up for life. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. I hope nobody like that in here. Uh, listen, verse 15. And what conquered hath Christ with Baal, or what part hath he that believeth with an infant there? Mm -hmm. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, as God has said... Yes. I will dwell in them, Amen. and I will walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Amen. Verse 17. Amen. Therefore, Amen. this is elementary Amen. stuff, right? Yeah. This is really elementary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to go back to the That's elementary right. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We're learning all of this, walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. But you know what? You ain't even walking the basics. Right. When I walk by faith, they're going to work for you. Amen. You gotta be walking in obedience to the word of God yes. so that your work, your your faith will work for you. Yes. Uh, how come it never work for me? Well, how are you living? Hey, that's right. Come on. Come out from along with that. Come out. Stay and then you see God work. Therefore, 17, right? Therefore, you come out from my mouth, right? Uh, I don't wanna leave. <laughs> And simmer in the fire some more. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Be mistreated some more. Mm. Be stepped on and spit on and everything else. Mm. Maybe till your light goes on. Mm. I can't take this no more. <laughs> Do it. A lot of time, God says, right? Right, right. Yeah. But are we hard headed? Are we hard? We are. Huh? Come yes. on, let's be honest. Yeah. The only be honest that won't make it. A liar ain't gonna make it. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> you stop lying to yourself. <laughs> You're hardhead. You don't, you, you don't want him. I do it my way. Mm. He don't know. What does he know? He don't know what I did. He don't know what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Well, God knows what you've been through. Right. And he knows That's what right. you're gonna go through if you choose doing it that way. Yes. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Wherefore come up from among them and be separate. Say it. The Lord. Oh, not Brother Tony. No. Not Pastor Bob. The Lord. Amashia. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Oh, okay, we got to get that right, right? Say the yeah. Lord. Yeah. yeah. And touch not the unclean thing. Amen. And I will receive you. Amen, Lord. Yeah. Wow. How come I can't 
come I can never get the victory? How come I can never break through? And how come I can't get into that place where they get all, I see them get lost in the spirit and how come I can't even get there? Maybe because some of that stuff is holding you back. I'm not saying that you have to be perfect. you got to be willing to let it go. Then the Spirit of God will come in you and give you the strength to do it. You can't do it on your own. See, but the part you got to do is you got to be willing to let it go. Change me, God, please. I don't want to live this way no more. I'd rather die than live this way again. Good, that to the Spirit. To the flesh. I don't yeah, mean that right. that we bury in a cemetery. Yeah. No, that to the old man put him yeah. to death. Yes, yes. That yes. sinner nature. Yeah. You see a girl go by and they go, <laughs> or the lady yeah. see a guy over there. Who did you see that? Yeah. Same spirit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See, it's worse than everybody. Men, women, kids too. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I will receive you. Listen, 18. And I will be a father unto you. And you shall be my sons and my daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Amen. Now you ain't going to hear this stuff in churches, in most churches. They ain't going to teach you this. But you know what? That's right. You're going to hear the truth. Amen. Amen. And we're telling you the truth because we love you. Amen. Amen. God loves you. And he holds us responsible if we don't tell you the truth. Hallelujah. Now, if you come to God and you say, God, nobody told me, and God brings back the memory, yeah. play it for you as a video. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that Wednesday night oh, at two o'clock? Yeah. Remember that uh, 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 Pastor Tony was there? Right. Remember what he said? Amen. Uh, well, come on. God will put, put a, a screen for you yes. and show you your life. Yes. Where you been, what you did, where you laid, what you did, all that. Oh, Jesus. Everything. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm, Jesus. Why? Oh, Lord. Don't you listen. God loves you. Yes. God wants to fix you. Yeah. You're crippled, you're man, and spiritually, emotionally. All God wants to do is to love you yes. and yes. fix you. Yes. And then used you to help somebody else. Yeah. Is that a lie? Does that happen to yeah. That's good. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, in a lot of ways, God's counting on you yes. Right. Yes. to get it together. Yes. Yes. Because you got a job to go. Tell them people. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? Mm -hmm. There's people that, that you can tell that I'll never tell, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Amen. Hallelujah. People won't listen to me, some people. They should, but they won't. Because right. I don't meet the standard. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. the, the specs they think I should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not six foot three and blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've got a sense of humor, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see, <laughs> if, I, if, if I had been born in a body, Six foot four or three around there, 200 pounds. Oh, I would have hurt a lot of people. You would have hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I heard people at 5'3. <laughs> I'm at 35. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love to hurt people. You know, right there. That was the old me. He, he died. He died. But that's, that's where I was. And come on, some of you have been there with. Yeah. Yeah. Be honest. Somebody did you wrong. You. Right? Or did something wrong for one of your loved ones? Yeah. Who did that? Let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> but God, see, so anyway, God has this humor. He said, no, I'm going to put your spirit in a five foot three body. <laughs> <laughs> that, will, that, that, will, that will restrain. <laughs> We something else, but I had two friends that were football players, right? <laughs> <laughs> Big guys. We used to do like this. I'd go over there and I'd pick the fight. Right? Uh -uh. And they see me fight three hundred thirty pounds. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Here come the old guys. We didn't have fun. We thought it was fun. That was fun. What super stuff you do when you're a kid? Yeah. Yeah. You just giving your life to Jesus. Yeah. How many people? 
How many people have died that you should have told about Jesus? Mm -hmm. But because you weren't in that place, mm -hmm. they're gone. And their opportunity to hear is gone. So, mm -hmm. as long as people are alive, it's an opportunity for them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why it says it's better to be alive now than a dead lion. Because as long as you're alive, there's hope. Yeah. Okay, even if the tree's been cut down and just a stump is in the ground, and that scent of water, it'll live again. Yeah. Yeah. So no matter, no matter what's going on in your life, the anointing will come upon you, and the, yes. the, the, the word that's coming forth will make life come yeah. back into yeah. your being. Yeah. Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. will resurrect you. Ooh, God yeah. wants you alive. Right. He, can, he wants to be able to use you. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Okay, and I, I got stuff to read for two, three days. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor Bob, your assignment is to you're going to develop and raise these men of God and women of God Amen. to be awesome warriors for God. Amen. God Amen. is going to put into your trust men and women that are going to sell. Okay? And they're going to go out there into the streets and they're going to reach the halt of the Come lame on. and the blind yes. and those that nobody else yes. wants and they're yes. going to bring them. And, and then you're gonna, they're going to minister to them and they're going to raise them up too and they're going to go forth Amen. and they're going to do See, God called the church yes. to make disciples. Amen. God called us to yes. duplicate. Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. Whatever He makes you, He wants you to make somebody else. Amen. 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 You, have to you have to reproduce yourself. Yes. Amen? Yes. You start with one and then that one does